For several years, I've been wanting to link my interests in historical geography with those of GIS, needing a way of turning fragmentary archival material into digital data sets that then could be used to visualize changes in places over time and across space. This hotel register for Reapersburg, Pennsylvania, from the turn of the 20th century, has lots and lots of names, lots of interesting idiosyncratic visitors, a particular baseball uh, team, a uh, traveling vaudeville coming through, lots of salesmen. Some of those people were local, some were from far away, Chicago and New York. But it's only when we were able to analyze many names for a particular time or see repeated temporal patterns that we were able to start to see some tendencies amongst a two-year uh, visit set for this hotel. Then that turned us to a whole new set of questions and insights. So this hotel vis was the beginning of a whole new round of historical inquiry. Improvise is an interactive environment for building and browsing multi-view visualizations of high-dimensional data sets. In close collaboration with historical geographers, we iteratively built a tool in Improvise for visual analysis of historical hotel registries. Interaction turns questions into queries. Which people were part of the unusually large party on Labor Day Sunday 1900? On what other days did the same people visit the hotel? Where did they come from? Did multiple guests meet multiple times? Is any apparent rendezvous or vanguard behavior related to climate or distance traveled? These are a few of the questions that can be answered by drilling down into arbitrary subsets of people, places, and times. So if we look at AM sheets, you know, guess those come 78 times to this hotel, uh, we see a very distinct weekly pattern where he's coming almost every Friday uh, with, with a few variations uh, within that pattern. And if we look at the second person on the list, RA sheets, who has also come 38 times to see when each of them are coming, we notice that RA Sheets seems to be coming, and then once he stops, AM Sheets begins. So keeping both of these on, we see that there's a very distinct pattern of every Friday visits, but there are some variations uh, within this pattern where they're, they're coming on earlier on a Wednesday, Thursday, or even later on a s Saturday. By p turning on the Fill Seasons options, we can see that in this case it happens uh, in February, March time frame, and by scrolling up and down through the list, we'll notice that all of the variations occur during the winter months. So the next person we look at is E.K. Hess, as 27 visits to the hotel. We filter on guests and can see that the temporal pattern is this even number of weeks between visits. So if we sort the guests by name, we can see that there's several Hesses that appear, and uh, several of them could be the same person, Ed Kege, E.K., D.K. In 19th century handwriting, an E and a D could be easily mistaken for one another. Mm -hmm. So by clicking on one, we can see that it's the same temporal pattern as the other. So we could go through and actually select uh, several of these. And this verifies that this is probably the same person based on the temporal patterns. And this is an instance where we can go back now and correct the original database. To evaluate the hotel's viz, we worked with 12 graduate students taking a geovisual analytics seminar. Our goals were to determine what features we should add or take away from the toolkit and to evaluate it against a set of precepts for design that were recently proposed by AMR and Stasco. We conducted three rounds of evaluation using a web-based collaboratory called eDelphi. eDelphi was originally created to support Delphi exercises, but we adapted it to support distributed and asynchronous input into our design process. Our users suggested a number of new features that we might implement, and they also suggested additional data types that would aid analysis. They indicated that the hotel's viz satisfies the three worldview precepts outlined by Amar and Stasco, but that it did not generally satisfy the three rationale precepts. Based on our evaluation work, we now have a well-defined path forward for future development.